what we're stressing is the non-linear part of the game because it's very important in Witcher 2. It's a story-driven, hardcore RPG, so the choices and consequences system is very important for us. During the gameplay, you're actually making many different decisions and you will have to face the consequences of those decisions. We have like many levels of non-linearity. So we have like the low level non-linearity thing. Those are like the consequences you're gonna see right away after you make a choice, right? So you, do, you can decide to kill someone or spare his life. And you actually see, of course, this character alive or not. But then again, a little bit later in the game, you can actually meet this character once again. So it can change a whole plot or a whole quest for the players actually. So all the choices you make in the game have some huge um, consequences. The game is based on our new engine, Suit Engine. It's an engine we actually created in our studio. It took us about three years to develop it, but it's an engine based on our experiences and expectations. We believe it's the best RPG engine out there and we're really, really able to create a non-linear cool RPG thanks to that. The combat system in Witcher 2 is one of the systems that were actually recreated, redesigned from scratch. And our target is to create a more spectacular, more dynamic combat system. But at the same time, we want it to be still based on your character skills, statistics, and your inventory, your gear you're actually wearing. So it's still a hardcore RPG game, but it looks more dynamic. It looks better than the turn-based systems you can actually see in many games. So The Witcher is a PC-only game at the moment and it's going to be released in Q1 2011.